Hi guys, it's us again. I feel like every video is gonna have to start like this from now on. So guys, as you can see, I'm back home in London. The road trip in America was absolutely amazing. We had the best time. If you haven't seen the vlog already, then it's just a must watch. It's one of my favorite travel diaries I've ever done. Um, but I'm so, so glad to be home. I was so happy to see Cinderella again. I missed her so much. Oh, and as you can also see, I have my fringe back, which is something that I just did not address in my vlog at all. Um, but yeah, I decided to cut it back in because honestly guys, when I had it before a few years ago, I've never felt more like me. And I let it grow out during lockdown because I couldn't like trim it myself. It was just looking terrible. And then I was like kind of enjoying the freedom that not having a fringe gives you because a fringe is a commitment guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like it takes maintenance, but I am a high maintenance person so I can do it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get it back for a while and see how I felt and I love it. So for this week's video, I was kind of torn between doing two things and then I thought we could just do them both and do it in a more casual way. I really need to clear out my wardrobe guys, but I'm just warning you, I don't think it's gonna be like a big wardrobe clear out like I've done before because honestly, like last year and the year before, because of lockdown and everything, like I just didn't get the chance to wear my clothes, but I still was doing all of my fashion videos. So I was still like getting a load of new clothes but not really having the opportunity to wear them. Like even last year when we weren't really in lockdown in spring, summer, um, I was doing my flat and literally every single spare moment of my life was spent here, like painting and decorating. I didn't do like practically anything fun last year. So I still have like quite a lot of clothes that I feel I haven't really worn from last year and the year before, but there are some things that I just don't think I need. And I have lots of like projects coming up, like fashion collabs with brands this year. For you guys to look forward to, lots of fashion content, but that means that I do get a lot of new stuff in. So I just feel like I need to clear out a bit of space. That was really rambly, sorry. <laughs> and then the other thing, which is so, so exciting, I have to plan some outfits because this weekend, me and Coco are going to Disneyland. I honestly can't tell you how excited I am. The whole way, through the lockdowns. For some reason, I was like fixating on Disneyland. I was just like, oh my God, am I ever gonna be able to go to Disneyland again? Oh my God, like I wish I'd gone more. And I just couldn't stop thinking about Disneyland. And now we're going. And we literally got the news yesterday that we don't need to wear masks in the park anymore. The rules have just changed. So it's literally gonna be like normal. <coughs> so that was the best news ever. And we are going as guests of Disney to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Disneyland. And we are just, oh my god, we're so excited. JJ's looking after Cinderella and I am obviously sad to go away again, but it's only for a weekend, so I don't really feel as bad or as sad. Literally when I left for America, I was crying my eyes out. It was not good. I used to be free and now I'm not. Now I'm chained by love. Cinderella is like attached to my hip. Like I have had to tell her yesterday, I was like, Cinderella, you know, it's okay for us to be in two different rooms. We don't always have to be in the same room at the same time. Anyway, what I think we should do is start off with my wardrobe clear out because I am waiting on an ASOS parcel with some potential Disney outfits in it. I did order it on next day delivery, but it's like three o'clock and it hasn't come yet. So does anyone else feel that ASOS delivery, like next day delivery has really gone downhill? It used to be so good, but now it's very unreliable. So I'm just really keeping my fingers crossed that that parcel arrives. But for now, let's take a little dive into my wardrobe and see um, if I can slim it down a bit. Just before we go um, to the wardrobe, I'll just quickly show you um, the few potential Disney outfits that I've pulled out. And this is just from stuff that I already had, so not the ASOS order. Um, as you can see, there's definitely like a pink, white and blue theme going on. We're definitely gonna be channeling Cinderella, hopefully, some of these outfits. Cinderella has found the teddy coat and she's having a little snoozical on it. The problem with going to Disneyland at this time of year is obviously it's freezing, but I still want to look really cute, but it's so limiting because I can't really have bare legs. Um, I can't really wear any of my knee-high boots because they're heeled and I'm gonna be walking around all day. So I'm really limited to like my trainers or like my moon boots, but obviously like I can't wear those bare legs. I don't even really want to wear them with tights because I just feel like I'll look like a plonker. Um, so then I'm limited to like trousers and I really don't like wearing jeans all day. I get so uncomfortable. So um, I actually got this really, really long, super long teddy coat from one of in London. They actually sent it to me kindly. And I'm thinking that if I have this big furry coat, I might actually be able to maybe get away with some bare legs. 
um we'll see we'll try on all the outfits later but i just wanted to show you um the selections so far so we're just going to do my like spring summer wardrobe today um because it's coming up to spring and as you can see it's really quite cluttered and i just feel like it would be nice to start the new season feeling a little bit more streamlined and for there to be a little bit of space in here it's gonna be hard because as you guys know i do make good choices i think so i i do like everything that's in here but i just know there's gonna be a lot more coming in um so we need to make some space okay guys let's get going i think i am going to empty out the um wardrobe but i'm not going to show you every single individual piece like i normally would because it just takes forever i'll just show you the things that i'm thinking of getting rid of i do find that when you're clearing out your wardrobe it is a good little like psychological technique to take everything out and then only put back in the things that you really want rather than the other way around if that makes sense so that's what i'm doing there is so much it's stressing me out also guys i meant to mention how cute is my little loungewear look i got these leggings that actually like flared soft leggings and i got them from airy when i was in america hello and they're so nice and soft and comfortable but i kind of feel like I look like I'm channeling Euphoria. I actually really like Euphoria, guys, although I will say that I did not think the second season was anything on the first, which was a shame. I've got two cardigans here, um, neither of which I wear too much, but I think out of the two, I definitely would keep the Hollister one just because the colour is more white, whereas this Topshop one is a bit more like creamy, yellowy, so it kind of doesn't go with as much. And it's also not really as warm because it's full of holes, so I'm going to get rid of that cardigan. This is actually a good start. Oh, Cinderella, are you helping me clear out? You're always helping me, aren't you? You're always helping me. <laughs> okay, next I have literally a ton of dresses. And um, the first one is actually the newest, and it's this Leo and Lynn dress, Leo Lynn. And you guys know my white Leo Lynn, like the shirt dress with the poofy skirt, is one of my favourite dresses from last year. And um, for some reason, this one, I just don't like, I don't vibe with it. I don't vibe with the colours. It's just... Mm, I don't know. I just don't think out of everything else I've got, this would ever be the thing that I chose to wear. So I'm going to um, lose this one. Also, um, let me know what you guys think about this. As you know, I usually sell all of my clothes to you um, on Depop, but I've been thinking maybe with like dresses like that, that I may actually kind of rent them out using a company like By Rotation. So that means that we could all like share my dresses. If you need them for an occasion or for a holiday or something like that, you can rent it for like a week or even just a couple of days. And then we could all share my clothes, which I think would be a really nice idea. So um, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. I think it would be a really nice idea and it's very sustainable as well. Oh guys, what do you think about this play suit? So this is new as well. Um, well, it's from last year and this is from H&M and it's this really lovely like pale pink and it has these kind of like Western style like fringing around it and it's really cool. I did actually wear this um, because for JoJo's birthday we did like this Western themed night, like don't even ask. And I wore this and it did look really nice. But I'm just like, will I wear it again? I think I will. I think it needs a chance. Guys, I've tried to get rid of this polka dot dress like three times and every single time I go to sell it, I change my mind and I'm like, I really don't want to get rid of this. So I think I'm going to put it in the clear out pile because it's also like a little bit tight on me. Like it fits, but it's not comfortable. Um, so I think if I do do the whole dress um, rental thing, this would be a really nice one to go on there because I think you guys would love this. Um, so I'm going to put it in the like get rid of pile, but hoping that I'm not going to like fully get rid of it, if that makes sense. Okay, this Abercrombie floral dress, I actually love, but the truth is I bought this in like 2017 and it's five years later and I haven't actually worn it for the past like three summers. And I just don't know if that's a good sign. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in the clear out pile and maybe try it on and see how I feel about it because it's so pretty. And I might ask Coco if she wants this because this is an extra small as well, so it may not even fit me anymore. Okay, these three are all little strappy summer dresses from Abercrombie, and they're all really, really similar. This one is kind of like, it's kind of baggy, but like in a cute way. And then this one is also white, but it's kind of smocked and tiered, so it's quite tight fitting around the bust. Um, and it is really pretty. And then this one is the same kind of shape as the white tiered one but it has these really pretty blue flowers on okay hear me out i'm thinking that out of these three i probably would lose this one because i really love how comfortable this dress is like this is the kind of dress where i would only wear it for comfort i would never wear this like to look 
to be in like a nice outfit if that makes sense I would wear one of my more dressed up dresses these are super casual and I think for comfort I would actually prefer this shape and it would be nice to have the blue flowers so I'm going to keep these two and get rid of this one. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a play suit from Sophia the Label, and it's so, so pretty. I wore this in Marrakesh in 2020, and it's so gorgeous, like, honestly, beautiful quality. The pattern and design is stunning, but for some reason, I just didn't feel quite right in it. Just the way that it's cut and shaped, I just don't feel like it's made for my body. It's really, really short, which made me feel a bit self-conscious, and also the waist was quite low. So for me, it's like high waist or nothing, um, and this just wasn't quite flattering my body in the way that it should. So I think I'm just gonna be really brave and get rid of this because I just feel like this would look amazing on somebody else. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that's all the dresses. That's actually not bad. We're on to tops now. This is gonna be really hard. Oh my gosh, guys, this. <laughs> I feel really, really bad saying it because I really felt like I made a bold decision buying this blouse um, and I thought that it would look really cool and it does but honestly, I hate to say it but the pink is just a little bit too pink for me. It's very like a kind of Barbie baby pink which isn't really my thing anymore. I prefer something a lot softer and more subtle um, and when I was wearing this in Charleston one day I was just a bit like, mmm... I don't know if I really like this, so there's no point holding on to things like that. I'm going to lose this. It doesn't look that bright on camera, but in real life it's a lot brighter. Also this blouse, I hate to say it because at the time I adored this and I still really really like it. It's from Topshop and I was so impressed with it because I felt like it gave such a Zimmerman vibe. Um, but you know, I just have other things that I like more um, and I didn't wear this last year. So I just think that's a sign um, I'm gonna get rid of it. Or maybe I shouldn't get rid of that, I don't know. I'll try it on. Is it time to get rid of my little blue top? I've had this for so many years and the truth is I think it's a size six. Yeah, it's a size six and it like, oh, it just about fits but it's not comfortable and I just think it's so pretty but I think I should get rid of it. I think the time has come. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh but I actually have two of the same blouses and this was the cheapest blouse ever. I literally paid like five pounds for it on In The Style but I wore the original one so much that I was just like, this is so cheap, this top, that if anything happens to it, like it's not gonna last, I need a backup. Um, but now I'm thinking I don't really need both because I'm sure I won't be wearing it as much this year as I did last year when it was new and I was like obsessed with it. So I think I'm going to get rid of the older one, which I think is that one, um, and keep the newer one. Actually, I have no idea which is which. This one looks less creased, so I'm going to keep this one. Oh God, now it's bottoms and this is where it gets really tough because I love all of my spring summer bottoms. I don't know what to do about these because the truth is I'll never wear these out of choice. Like, I have white denim shorts, and I'll always choose white over blue denim. But then it's like, will the day come where I just need to wear a pair of blue denim shorts? And if so, these are really good, because um, they're just a really nice shape. They're flattering on my body. So, I don't know what to do about these. I feel like I should keep them. I think I might fold these up and put them in my drawer, because there's lots of room in my drawers. Um, and then they won't be, like, taking up space in my wardrobe but then I can just have them if I need them. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is actually a little set from And Other Stories, and it's really, really lovely, but I just don't think I'm gonna keep it. I just recall last year a couple of times putting this on and thinking it was really cute, but I just wanted to wear something else, and I just feel like if this was gone out of my wardrobe, I don't think I would miss it, so I might just try it on one last time to be sure, but I think that's gonna go. Mm, what about these ones? These are a little cute pair of Hollister shorts that, again, are kind of things that I just wear, like, at home when it's hot. Would I regret getting rid of these? They're so soft. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I think I just need to. If I'm hot, then I'll find something else to wear. And then I have a few pairs of other shorts that are, like, more neutral colours. I have three, and I just feel like I could definitely get rid of one at least. These are my um, like faux leather, they're kind of like a pinky nude pair of high waist shorts from Topshop and I really like these, I just think they look really cool and they're quite flattering as well. These ones are also from Topshop and they're kind of like cargo shorts, so they're not like my usual style but I just found that when I'm doing like certain things, like when I was in LA and we were going on hikes, um, these were really nice to wear and if you're doing anything that's like slightly outdoorsy then they are really good so I think I'll keep those. 
and those meaning these little um kind of beige ones from and other stories are for the chop but i just think that when i wear shorts i really like them to be very structured and because these are like kind of linen they're quite flippy and I prefer my shorts to have like a nice structure like my others, so I'm gonna lose these. And then finally, I have these white shorts from And Other Stories that were kind of like my Zimmerman short substitutes. But I just feel like I have other things that could work. I don't know. I think I'll try these on and see how nice they look. Oh, and then oh, and then there was one more thing at the bottom of the pile, which is the H&M Wildflower little linen two-piece. Now, this is very controversial, guys, because I was so happy when I got this because the collection was very, it was all like quite hard to get hold of. But I just feel like there are things in my wardrobe that I prefer. This type of um, wildflower print, it's not really me, that kind of like countryside, cottage core type of print is not very me. I think again with this, I'll try it on maybe one last time, but my head is telling me to get rid of this. Okay, let's try a couple of those pieces on. Look at this baby. She always wants to be in the same room. <laughs> okay, first of all, what do we think of the H&M set? It's a weird one, isn't it? Because it's obviously really pretty, but there's just something about it that I just feel like doesn't look right. I feel like it's the gap here. It's too big. Like, the short should either be... It should be like this. And the shorts are quite baggy. Um, and they're only a small, but they are quite loose. Um, and they don't sit like where I think is perfect, which is like the smallest part of your waist. Or they needed to make the top a little bit longer. But either way, um, I just, I like it, but I just think it looks off on me. Okay, this is what I mean, because these are the And Other Story shorts, and these actually fit so much better, because they're just so much higher up, and now the whole outfit looks okay. So I think I'm definitely going to get rid of the wildflower um, shorts. I could keep the top. But honestly, I just think they're really lovely as a set. Um, I kind of would like someone to have them as a set. And I do have so many tops. Um, this is really pretty, though. I love the sleeves. Maybe I'll consider keeping the top. Um, unless anyone is absolutely desperate, then tell me. Um, but yeah, the shorts are really nice. I'm thinking they obviously need a steam. They need a really good iron, which is why I keep holding these up. I think I'll keep these. They're a staple. Um, and then if anything else comes in this year that can replace them... Um, they can go to another good home. So this is the little and other story set and I'm actually having second thoughts about this because this looks so so cute and it's so comfortable. Like these shorts have an elasticated waistband and they are just, oh my god they're so nice. Obviously the whole thing desperately needs ironing so please ignore that but yeah I think I really need to keep this. It's so pretty and it's actually very me. Oh look at my baby having her little snoosical musical. Oh that tum tum. Oh, it's so tiring for you whenever I do anything, isn't it? Oh no, guys, I think I've changed my mind on the Abercrombie dress as well. It's just so pretty and it still fits really beautifully. It's so soft, like the quality is just gorgeous. And I just feel like actually I need things like this in my wardrobe. Not every occasion calls for an OTT outfit and sometimes you do need to wear just something a bit more cute and low-key like this um, and it's just really really lovely so yeah I think I've changed my mind on this one. <laughs> oh no guys am I allowed to change my mind again? It's actually really cute this top I think it looks nicer on than it does on the hanger which is maybe what's throwing me off. Look with the Zimmerman shorts it is actually really cute and it looks like a whole Zimmerman look now and it was just from Topshop so I'm feeling like maybe I should I should keep this as well. This is actually throwing the whole clear out into disarray. But I, even if I do keep four items, I still got rid of over 10. So it won't be a total disaster. But yeah, this is just really, it's really unique and unusual. And I feel like it is worth holding on to. Like, look at the sleeves. Come on. It's worth it for the sleeves alone. And then the last thing that I just wanted to make sure of was the play suit. And I actually think I'm right. Like, it's so pretty. I love it. But... The shorts are just too short, like if I wear the waistband where my waist is, then the shorts, they look like kind of like big pants on me. Um, just on me, it's not flattering, which is such a shame. Um, but yeah, I just wish they were longer than I would honestly love this. Like this pinky, tropical, leafy print is so me. It's like my dream print, but honestly, I just don't feel good in this at all. It doesn't flatter me, so yeah, this can definitely go. Oh my goodness. It is just so tiring watching you clear out your wardrobe. <sighs> okay guys, I am done with my clear out. Um, so now I have to put together some outfits for Disneyland. And honestly, like I am usually really good. Like when I'm going on a trip where I'm envisioning outfits, I know exactly what I want to wear 
and if I don't have it I know what I'm looking for but I've really struggled with this because I want it to be like fun cute outfits but also it's going to be really cold um, and I hate wearing trousers, I hate wearing flat shoes and I have to really do both. So I'm trying to find ways of still looking cute and liking my outfits um, but still keeping warm. So I have like a bunch of stuff as you saw before on the floor, my ASOS parcel has not arrived which is just fantastic. Um, but we'll just try and make do with what I've got here and then hopefully it will arrive later. Um, but I will just set my camera up and show you what I'm working with. I've got three days. So I need three outfits, so it's not that much stress. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. I think it's just because I'm so excited about Disney and in my mind I really love to like, I don't know, I wanted to like Disney bound and kind of channel characters and really go for it and have fun. Um, so I'll try my best. Oh, also, um, my necklace earlier had like disappeared under my top, but it's so, so pretty, isn't it? It's from um, a brand called Liars and Lovers. I really like it. And then my earrings, I feel like you guys will also like. Did I show you these? in my video a couple of weeks ago but they're from La Grotta and they're little like pearl hoops I just really really love them um so yeah let's try on some Disney outfits oh my little girl is going to help aren't you is this the coat you think I should take oh I agree oh I wish you could come you could dress up as Marie no one would know the difference everyone would be asking you for your autograph Okie dokie guys, my main outfit like asset, Cinderella is currently curled up on as you saw. Um, so I think we'll just kind of add that on at the end. I want to try on the one that I'm most excited about and the one that I want to really really make work. It's this absolutely adorable little like um, two piece from And Other Stories and it's in the cutest like baby pale blue houndstooth. So I can totally channel Cinderella with this look and I'm thinking if I wear like a nice warm top like a nice warm like turtleneck jumper underneath the jacket and I have my big coat on top of this then maybe I could get away with wearing bare legs with trainers or I could even wear my white moon boots so I'll have super cozy feet and super cozy everything else but I'll just have cold legs and I think I could just about manage that so I think let's try the whole thing on and see how it looks Okay, so this is my little Cinderella vibe option and I just, oh my god, I'm so desperate to wear this but I just don't know if I'm going to be too cold. What do you guys think it looks like with the moon boots? I know it looks a bit silly but like you can be silly at Disneyland and I just think it's kind of fun um, because otherwise I just wear like my trainers which I could do, I could wear my trainers or like my vans but these kind of just look more fun and I'll be more cosy in these. I've also got this um, Katie Loxton like crossbody bag. It's not my favourite bag but I just thought that it would be really good for like theme park days because the only other bags I could really take would be my little Pop and Suki one um, which is really cute but it's tiny and it barely even fits my phone in. It's like a struggle to get my phone in and out. Or I could obviously do the pochette Matisse because to be honest guys like I know people will say oh my god as if you take a Louis Vuitton to a theme park but like <laughs> we're not really doing very much other than like walking around and getting on rides and all the rides you can take a bag this size on so I think it would be fine um, and this is such a good bag because you can just fit so much in it's the best bag to take out in the daytime but yeah this is a look that I'd really really love to go for I suppose the only thing I could do is maybe pop on some white tights and I did order some um, tights from ASOS and they were like not white they were like sheer but they had a white pattern which might work and they also kind of look like sparkly stars like not stars but they kind of look like twinkles so this absolutely fabulous coat is from a brand called Monavine London you can check them out on Instagram they have loads and loads of gorgeous coats um, and I was really really drawn to this because it's so long and big and cosy that I thought I could just throw this over anything and I'll be warm so I'm just thinking if I wear this coat over the top of this cute outfit. I just feel like I would be warm enough. Like I am going to have slightly chilly calves but I reckon I could get away with it and it would be better than having to wear like jeans. I might just pop the coat off a sec and change the moon boots. Okay so another option is I wear these white Stan Smith trainers. Don't ask guys, Coco gave them to me but I'm so glad she did because I actually wear these a lot. Like I've worn them every time I've gone on the plane this year. And when we went to Alton Towers last year with our friends, um, I wore them then as well because I would literally have not had any other shoes to wear apart from my gym trainers. Okay, I know you can't quite see full length, 
but I think it does ultimately look better with trainers. It just looks a bit more normal, um, although my feet won't be as cosy or toasty. Okay, what do we think guys with the trainers? I think this could work, although if I'm going to be really critical, it's not the most comfortable outfit, like with the jacket underneath the coat, it's a bit like you know, I don't feel the most comfortable. Okay, this look is definitely more sensible. I hate to say it, but I think it's just like a more realistic outfit. So I popped on my white jeans. These are from The Good American, um, and they're nice and stretchy. Like they're quite, um, you know, kind of like jeggings, which is nicer because I really can't stand the thought of being in jeans all day. And then I've also got this really cute little um, pale blue knit, like a high neck knit. That can kind of channel Cinderella vibes a little bit because it's blue um, and then I've obviously put the lovely big teddy coat over the top which I just feel like this coat is gonna be oh, it's just gonna be the savior of the whole day because obviously at Disneyland you're outdoors like the whole time and I cannot be cold I will literally just cry so I do feel like this is a good option I can either wear it with my moon boots or my white trainers. Um, I kind of like it with the moon boots because I just feel like it's a bit more me. Oh, I've just thought I could maybe wear my little Santini faux fur headband just to add a little bit of like girly glam. I mean, this would definitely make me feel more princessy, which is what I feel like I'm missing. It's so pretty, like it's got this like ribbon, satin ribbon at the back. Um, and then it would keep my head nice and warm as well, although I do really want to get some Cinderella ears from Disneyland. Oh my god, my ears! I need to get my ears! Oh my god, that's so cute. Although, has anyone actually ever tried to wear these all day at Disneyland? They are so painful. They say they're made for adults. Maybe I just have a big head. We've also been told to bring a waterproof coat um, in case of rain, obviously. Although, I have checked the weather forecast and it does look like it's going to be dry, at least. Um, but if not, I have also got my cute new little puffer jacket from And Other Stories. I bought this, like two months ago and I have no idea why because I don't really like puffer jackets but I just loved this one so much because of the colour and I was like to be fair everybody does need like a waterproof puffer jacket like this and it's also got these weird like sleeves that you can kind of put your thumb through which I think is quite cute so this is a look I mean I know it's pretty basic but this is probably like a super sensible Disneyland in March outfit and um, I could do moon boots I could do pink vans and then look I could just pop my pink ears on and this is actually a pretty cute outfit I can do my bag as well and um, then at least I'm not gonna be worried about being cold I mean this is not my ideal look but it does work and it is quite cute so guys this is an outfit that I am so so excited about and um, as you can see I'm very much channeling Cinderella with this beautiful dress from coast it's just the perfect colour, I cannot even believe it. And I love the little puff sleeves and of course the um, bow tie around the neck. So this is gonna be for the Saturday night because there's going to be a gala dinner and people will be like kind of dressed up. Like it's not super formal, but people will be wanting to dress up. So I thought that I could wear this and because we're going straight from dinner to watch the fireworks and the light show, um, I thought it'd be nice to actually have kind of a long dress because then I can wear the coat over the top. Which I can just drape over my shoulders like this and I was thinking for shoes, because we're just going from dinner to the lights, back to the hotel, I probably could get away with wearing a pair of heels that I just know that I'm comfortable in. Um, or if not, I can just, like worst case scenario, wear my white trainers, which I'd rather not, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is really, really lovely. I'm so excited about this one. Um, please ignore the creases. I'm obviously going to steam it before I wear it. Okay, I feel like this one is one you guys will really, really like. I don't know if you can see, but I'm actually wearing a little tiara. I have the big magic teddy coat on and then underneath, <gasps> voila, I have this really, really fun pink tall midi skirt, which I think will actually work because it's a bit longer. Um, I could just wear like my trainers with this um, and I'm just gonna have like slightly cold legs, but it's not as bad as me wearing that mini skirt. And it's so pink, it's so fun. And this really, I think channels Aurora. So I'll have like a Cinderella look an Aurora look. I'm actually really happy with this one. This is definitely giving me the magical Disney vibes I was hoping for. Um, the skirt is from Coast. Luckily my Coast order did arrive. I think maybe I have like one more thing to try on. Um, mine is my ASOS stuff. And then my final outfit option kind of pains me a little bit because I hate the idea of wearing loungewear outside of the house, but they are really cute because the colour is adorable and they're so comfortable and really warm and cosy as well. So it kind of feels 
like the perfect thing to wear to be honest all day in Disneyland so I've got my little um, pink caramelin joggers on with my moon boots um, and just with a white turtleneck knit and then I thought that I could just use my accessories to make it cute so I've got my little pink Ted Baker gloves and my pink faux fur Santini headband that has the ribbon which kind of makes it feel a little bit more princessy. I'll have my little bag as well so I'm all in pink and white and then of course I'll have my big old coat as well so I would just be as snug as a bug in a rug in this outfit like this is definitely the warmest one by far so yeah I think this is another really really strong contender I think the last three have been the best um, and I think this is what we'll be going for didn't even need the stupid ASOS parcel anyway Oh my gosh guys, you are actually not going to believe what's just happened. I was literally just packing away my stuff um, and the ASOS order arrived, but honestly guys, like I'm quite pleased with my outfits, so I just can't be bothered to go through the whole parcel because I just feel like it will open up a can of worms, but there were just a couple of things I was so excited about that I still think are amazing, um, one of which I'm now concealing behind this coat because honestly, I just feel like you're gonna die. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh my God. I'm sorry. This is literally like, it's as if ASOS knew. It's as if they knew because why would ASOS design something like this? Like, I'm not gonna lie guys. I would never wear this like if I wasn't going to Disneyland and trying to be Cinderella in winter. So it's Cinderella blue obviously and it's like furry fabric and it also has a little bit of glitter in so it's literally the most like Disney princess thing ever and it's so so warm and cozy and the way that it's designed it kind of looks like a little coat like a little jacket and I've actually just popped on my um, white top underneath it didn't come with this top. I just put that on underneath um, and also the tights came and I don't know if you guys can see properly um, obviously I'll link them so you can have a look but they're kind of like they're not stars they're just like sparkles and I just think all together this look is so much fun it's so over the top like it's literally perfect and look how cute it looks with the coat as well like it's literally perfect I will be so warm in this and I'm thinking for shoes I'll just do my white trainers um, which kind of ruins the vibe, I'm not gonna lie, but it's kind of like a what can you do scenario, or it might look okay with the moon boots. I'm just thrilled. I can't wait to wear this. I'm feeling a lot more optimistic now about my outfits. <laughs> I also ordered a few pairs of trousers just to kind of go with the flow of the whole trouser thing. And this is one of the pairs of trousers that I ordered. And um, they're like blue satin trousers from um, River Island on ASOS. And I thought these would be great for Cinderella, but to be honest, they're giving me more like genie vibes. So I don't think these are the ones, but I just wanted to show you anyway, because I thought it was very funny. Oh my gosh, guys, I know I said I wasn't gonna try anything else on from the ASOS order, but I just had a look through it and just realized like how good my order actually was and why I was so excited. Because look at this dress, I'm sorry, is this not Aurora? It's literally Aurora and I love how it's long, but I could wear a thermal top underneath and I'll just be nice and warm with my big coat. And this would look cute with white trainers and it just gives the Aurora vibe. This could be better than the tall skirt. Oh my gosh, look how cute this look is. I knew this would open up a can of worms because this is actually adorable and it's just so Disney and so fun. Oh my God, I'm just obsessed with this dress though. Like I could honestly wear this to the gala dinner as well. It's so, so pretty. I love it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> look at the gloves. I'm literally dying. They are, oh my God, they're the best things I've ever seen. Have you ever, they're literally Cinderella gloves. Like what, the color, oh my God, they're soft velvet. And as you can see, they're also juicy couture because they are very, very embellished, which kind of ruins them slightly because it makes them a little bit tacky. Guys, I am obsessed with these gloves. I kind of want to keep them, but as you've gathered probably from the other outfits, like there isn't really a good outfit that these would go with. But they are so, so cool. Like what? They actually have like a full tracksuit with bottoms and I did order the bottoms. They were like literally this color flared bottoms, which I was really hoping would come, but they like canceled the order. I guess they didn't actually have my size in stock, um, which is such a shame. But look at these gloves, I just had to show you even though I don't think I'm taking them because they are literally incredible. I think you guys should vote down below if I should keep the gloves or not just for fun because surely there's gonna come a time where I would need these, right? <laughs> right, I am done, I am finished. I am done, I'm actually gonna pack now. 
Well, that was nice and productive. Um, I'm actually really pleased with the outfits. Um, so yeah, this is the state of the room at the moment. Need to get all of this tidied up and packed away. Yay! So guys, that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video, even though it was a bit of a mishmash. I'm coming to you next week though with one of my classic outfits videos that I haven't done in so long, so I'm very excited for that. There's also spring haul week coming up, which is very exciting. Lots of travel vlogs and my very amazing special news that I have to share with you. So there is so much to look forward to on my channel, so do make sure you are subscribed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye! Oh no.